Welcome back to the channel on another segment of House Hunting with Brian. This is where we go on Zillow.com usually and we find some properties for sale. Today we got an interesting one. They dropped this one $24,000. They just cut the price and uh, that brings it down to what is it? $375,000. This is 4,000 square foot place. Let me give you guys a quick look. Here's a quick look at the photos. We'll get into those a little later, but as you can see, this is a three bedroom, a three bath place with 4,608 square feet, and they're asking just $375,000. They put, cut the price by $24,900 on the 31st, and uh, there you can see the pay payment will be just $2,109. This one's located at 684 Maple Street, Hamilton, Washington, 98255. So admittedly, that one is out there a ways, but $375,000 for 4,000 square foot home, it's definitely worth taking a look at. Let's see the specifics on this one. Here you can see it's a single family residence. The Zestimate is still under the ask price at $354,300, and they're asking $375. This one was built in 1900, so it's been around for a while. $81 per square foot, and it comes on a 0.31 acre lot with no homeowners association fees. So what's special about this one? They're saying here wood-burning fireplace, fruit trees, garden space, mature landscaping, fresh mountain air, spacious rooms, and a large level lot. There you can see it's been on Zillow for 30 days, has 2,884 views and 208 So I'm going to read this description off to you guys and then we'll get a look at these photos. Take a closer look at this one in a little bit more detail. They say here, step into this charming remodeled historic home where classic charm meets modern convenience. 4,608 square foot of living space. The main level features a primary bedroom suite along with an open concept living room, dining area, and kitchen. Perfect for entertaining. Cozy up by the wood burning fireplace or step outside and enjoy the fresh mountain air. Upstairs, six spacious bedrooms providing endless possibilities for bedrooms, home office, hobby space. New roof was in 2023. A large level lot with mature landscaping, fruit trees, garden space, and chicken coop. Located on the main street of Hamilton, this home is just a short drive from the scenic North Cascades, Janicky Industries, and about 30 minutes to Mount Vernon and I-5. So there they have it. That's the description. Let's get a closer look at this 4,000 square foot place. So they're claiming 4,608 square feet and $375,000 for this one out there in Hamilton. A ways to drive, but plenty of house out there for three seventy-five. Let's take a look at these. Uh, there you can see the entryway. Um, nice big blue house with white accents, plenty of windows, little trees. There you see the trees they're talking about. A little closer look at the entryway. Those windows uh, look like they might need repairing and uh, so paint is chipping away there. So uh, definitely a little bit of work that needs to be done on this one. But uh, when the house is built in the 1900s, uh, you could probably expect that. There's the first look at the inside. Um, that stairwell wall there looks a little suspect and look up here there's some electrical hanging out the ceiling so not the kind of sights you want to see um, but uh, 375 you probably have a little extra dough to spend to fix a few little things there's a look at that open concept they were talking about big table in the middle there as well as looks like the kitchen off to the right there and uh, let's see again there's that little kitchen nook that they were talking about so they built that into the um, kitchen area looks like a little dining set not a bad looking kitchen those cabinets are looking pretty fresh so it looks like they uh, put some paint and whatnot on them also looks like it comes with a, a newer stove top there it looks like electrical uh, on the top there so nice looking stove sink that window actually looks like it's pretty decent so maybe they did replace a few uh, windows and they left others but the kitchen's looking pretty fresh nice looking bathroom um, not too bad, um, nothing special, but uh, I would uh, see it meets all your needs, right? There's that big open spacious uh, living area. You see you got the TV set up over here. Looks like the stove is right there in the center and a big huge almost uh, like a dance floor type of, um, looks probably laminate I'd imagine, flooring. 
Um, so it looks like plenty of the space in there. There's another look at it, how large that is. And uh, opens right up into the other room, which was uh, looks like that dining room and set over there. So they took plenty of shots of this one. You see kind of like that tile almost on the ceiling. So at least they have the a fire um, detector up there and there's no electrical hanging out. So at least they got that part right. And uh, there's a look at a bedroom. Blue walls. They went the blue theme throughout. So uh, they have. Oh, there's some nice tiling in the bathroom. So uh, looks like they did put a little extra money into a few uh, different areas. Here's a nice looking bathroom. This is probably the master bathroom. It looks like. And uh, stairwell leading up to the bedroom area. Okay, there is an interesting roof on this one. You kind of have that uh, jagged edge there and a little bed in the corner with a fan which makes me think it's probably hot up there they're hanging uh, sheets over the windows and running fans it probably looks like attic living almost so there's a little window and uh, again looks to be smaller than uh, they're claiming but 4,000 square foot they're saying over 4,000 there's a bathroom three bedroom three bath I think there's another uh, bedroom again with those uh, angled ceilings so I'm not sure what the height on those are but they uh, are a little different I guess that's the construction of a 1900 home uh, built way back in the early 1900s so there's the some color on the walls we got yellow and we got red they couldn't make up their mind or maybe they had a can of each so they went with both yellow and red keeping it bright there we got a pink room so we got the yellow and red we got the pink couple windows in that one and there's an exterior shot looking at the outside of this place nice looking yard it looks like they have some sort of fire pit there or is that a horseshoe pit I don't know it looks like a fire pit and gravel and grass so plenty to look at there nice mountain the North Cascade Mountains they're claiming that and we got a few more photos here there's a little construction project they got the wheelbarrow out and they got a big uh, pile of dirt and a shovel so Somebody got started on the deck, looks like, here, and they didn't quite finish it. They have a little deck off of the uh, doorway there, but uh, a stairwell sitting over here waiting to be uh, nailed down, probably. So it uh, looked like a project that was half done, and they decided we're going to put the house on the market, let the other guy finish it. And uh, there it looks like some sort of commercial building across the street, so I'm not sure. They're saying this is downtown Hamilton, so... Might be smack dab in the middle of Hamilton. We'll have to drive through there, I guess, to get a better look. But there's a little chicken coop, I think they said, that has a little chicken coop. So a little storage outside of there as well for the lawnmower and the wheelbarrow and whatnot. So uh, there's the uh, look at the aerial view of this. A new roof in 2023, so that is nice. Um, it does look fresh and new, so uh, you don't have to worry about a roof for another 20 years, probably. And there's a look at where it, it sits in the middle of Hamilton. So uh, beautiful Hamilton, and it's right down there in the middle of it all. Some nice shrubberies around it. Uh, neighbors aren't too close, so that is nice. Uh, one of the benefits of having a house out in the country a little bit is that your neighbors right aren't right on top of you. You do have a neighbor there off to the left, but it looks like there's easily uh, 100 yards between the two of you. So you probably could put up a fence if you... Uh, don't like your neighbor and won't have to deal with their noise. So there you have it, a little bit of country living out there in Hamilton. Uh, $375,000 for this three bedroom, three bath, 4,608 square foot place out in Hamilton. Address is 684 Maple Street if you want to check it out. Hamilton, Washington 98255. So you can find this one on Zillow.com. I just did a quick search and we were looking for uh, places under 400,000. This one popped up. They uh, cut the price by what, 24 point eight thousand dollars uh, still a bit above the zestimate so you could probably make an offer on this one and get in there pretty cheap of course uh, anytime you want to go into town it's uh, 30 minutes away from I-5 so uh, that is one of the downsides of living out there but uh, cheaper living and more house as you can see so something to consider you know uh, it all depends on what your standard of living what you want it to be you know do you want to live out there a ways and have a a little space a little more home or do you want to be in the city where it's all happening close to i-5 
and close to uh, transportation that can get you where you want to be. So something to think about as you move forward. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little look at this place out in Hamilton. Another segment of house hunting with Brian. We're going to keep them coming. Hopefully as you guys uh, watch them. We did some uh, mansions. Those were fun. We looked in Medina. We've been searching other states as well. We did Texas. We did New Mexico. We did Arizona. So there's all those videos up on my channel now if you want to watch some more of these house hunting with Brian. I'm looking for deals. I'm looking for uh, houses with a lot of square footage. That's what I like to search just to see what you can get for a big house on a budget. You know, Usually we do the budget. We did look at those mansions so that was a little step away from that uh, budgeted home. So, but uh, we keep a little bit of variety going up to the channel so hopefully you guys like this one. Uh, country living out there in Hamilton something to think about as you move forward so if you like this sort of thing hit that subscription button ring that notification bell and plan to come on back and watch some more thanks for watching this one to the very end we'll see you on the next one bye